didn't expect that much rain it, <laughs> over the night. I didn't hear it, didn't hear it, didn't really storm. It just was a constant rain. For many, you probably had a very similar reaction as a rain flooded some parts of Allen County. Good evening, I'm Louis Tran. Thanks for joining us tonight. Properties across Northeast Indiana are underway and some streets are even blocked off. Many places saw about seven inches of rainfall, creating dangerous situations for many drivers. Tyler Brummett joins us and shares what high water levels can do to drivers who aren't careful. Tyler. Well, Louie, while in Monroeville today, I saw a car that was unable to get through flooding on Samson Road this afternoon. We've all heard the saying, turn around, don't drown, and it's advice that was needed today. Neighbors in the area tell me the overnight rainfall led to flood levels they've never seen. Saturday morning, Northeast Indiana, dealing with inches of rain that fell overnight, causing ponding on interstates and roads around Fort Wayne. Some streets even had to be shut down. But perhaps the worst of the flooding, a half hour away in Monroeville, where water was flowing onto Samson Road. Homes nearby surrounded by water. Jim Cagnet has lived in his Monroeville home for more than 40 years. It's the most I've seen over here. We, uh, once in a while I get a little bit of water, but uh, yeah, it's by far the most that we've had standing. Cagnet says he measured about four and a half inches at his house. He says hour by hour, the flood flooding continues to go down. There was water over my drive and I drove down the uh, highway down here and there was a, it was flooded across the road to two or three places, uh, which normally hasn't been for a long time. And roads also feeling the brunt of it. Several of them here in Monroeville and Patchville, including Samson Road just behind me. As you can see right now, it's more like a creek than a roadway cars unable to get through. However, just moments later, the driver of this truck decided to still drive through the water. He made it through just fine. But fast forward just a few minutes later, with our camera recording, another driver approaches the water and stops. Then he decides to test his luck. Are you okay? The driver gives me a thumbs up. The driver staying inside, then a red truck starts making its way through the water. I don't know if they're going out there to help the person or what's going on as officials are showing up actually just behind our camera here uh, to hopefully get that person out and hopefully they're okay. The driver then brought out of the car and back to land, a situation that had a good ending but could have ended much worse. And I talked with the driver of that orange car that got stuck. He didn't want to go on camera, but he told me the water did not look as deep as it actually was. Louis, a reminder to really just take this all very seriously. Thanks, Tyler. Thankfully, that person was okay.